Hey there, it's great to have you all here for a tour of my amazing smart home. Today, I'm excited to show you around and introduce you to some of the coolest devices that I use to make my life easier and more convenient. With my previous home being my first experiment in converting a traditional dumb house into a smart home, I have learned a lot and have planned out this new house with even more amazing features. In this home, I have equipped it with over 150 plus smart devices and loads of automations that are definitely worth implementing to bring your home to the next level. So let's get started. By the way, I bought this home as an inventory home and came with zero smart devices and I have installed all after we moved in, believe it or not. Installing 60 plus switches is not at all fun. First up is a porch. I got these lights connected to a smart switch that's automated to turn on 10 minutes after sunset and turn off 10 minutes after sunrise. This simple and powerful automation makes it look like someone is home every day, which adds an extra layer of security to my house. Additionally, I have installed POE 4K cameras from Reolink that I have set up myself to ensure I have full coverage of my property. Moving on to the front door, I have replaced my traditional doorbell with a ring doorbell that makes it super easy to see if there are any unwanted visitors trying to sell me something. Those solar sales people really are relentless. When someone rings it, the video shows up on my smart refrigerator, which we will talk about later in this video. I have also installed a Y smart lock that's not only affordable but packed with amazing features. With this smart lock, I can use my fingerprint, a passcode or even just my phone to unlock the door. Plus, I can grant access to friends and family without having to give them physical keys and a control when they can access the house. I used to have a nest lock which I still have and moved that to the backyard as it's not user friendly for me. As we step inside, on our right, we have two smart switches from Zeus that uses Z-Wave technology. One is for the porch lights and the other for the fire light. These switches along with 60 other switches in the house are all connected to Home Assistant. I absolutely love these switches. In my old house, I had Lutron Caseta switches which were pretty pricey. However, the Zeus switches are not only affordable but packed with amazing features that we will dive into later in this video. On our left, we have ring security keyboard to disable the alarm. Let's start with the garage entry. On the left hand side, you'll notice a scene switch that controls the regular light attached to it. But that's not all. It has four more buttons that allow us to run custom scenes. For example, the first button switches off all the lights and fans in the entire house. The second button is nice to have automation as it switches the garage light on from inside before stepping into the garage. It gets pretty dark in there during the night, so this feature comes in handy. Now let's move on to the right hand side where we have two more switches that are connected to the kitchen lights. The first switch controls the ceiling lights while the other controls the counter lights. All the lights in the house are connected to these zoo switches and can be dimmed. One of the best features of these switches is that when you tap them once to turn them on, they automatically go back to the previous brightness level and if you double tap them, they go to the full brightness. But wait, there's more. You can also run custom automations for triple tap, four times tap, all the way up to seven times tap. With these switches, the possibilities for customizations are endless. Moving into the kitchen, let's start on the right side where we have a frame that doubles as a speaker from IKEA and Sonos. The sound quality of this speaker is amazing and the fact that the art is interchangeable makes it perfect for blending in with any other furniture in the room. I use this speaker a lot when I'm in the kitchen to play music. It's super easy to air play songs from my phone too and I even use it in one of my cool automations that we'll talk about it later in this video. Moving on to the heart of the kitchen or should I say the centerpiece of the whole house, the smart refrigerator. I use this fridge in so many of my automations and even Samsung was impressed and posted a comment on one of my TikTok videos saying this one. No, I didn't cry. I have enabled Alexa on this refrigerator and use it to announce multiple things when running automations. For example, when I get into a meeting, there will be an announcement 
that I'm in a meeting or if it's a trash pickup day, it reminds us and many other things too. I absolutely love smart display on the fridge too. It plays a slideshow of the photos. The best part of the display is that I have used the home layout and placed all the smart devices on the layout and created a home assistant dashboard that I have loaded it on the display. This is one of the jaw dropping moments for any guest when they see it for the first time. I have a bird's eye view of the entire house including upstairs and which lights are on. This is pretty awesome. Now let's talk about the refrigerator options. It has an inside view that allows me to look inside the refrigerator remotely. If I'm shopping outside and I want to see if I have milk, it's just an instant view for me. I can also mark the foods and add the expiry dates and it will notify me when they expire. Sometimes it even identifies the food by itself and notifies me if it's going to expire. It doesn't work all the time, but when it does, it gives me the right information. Enough about the refrigerator. I wish Samsung could sponsor me. Next up is the oven. It connects to the Wi-Fi and using the app, I can control it remotely. I can preheat it with app or get notified when the preheating or cooking is done. It's a nice feature that saves me from having to check on the oven multiple times. As we move over to the coffee bar, we once again come across the amazing zoo switches, one of which is a three-way switch for the kitchen ceiling lights. I have even got a sleek looking 3D printed one that perfectly complements the overall aesthetics of this area. But that's not all my friends. Here we have not one but two smart devices that have truly won my heart. First up, we have the Ember Smart Mug which is an absolute game changer for all the coffee lovers out there. This mug keeps your coffee hot for at least an hour if not more and connects to your phone via an app. Once you set your desired temperature, the mug ensures that your coffee reminds that temperature until the last sip. It's simply amazing. And my wife loved it so much that we ended up getting another one too. Our mornings are a lot less hectic now, especially since we don't have to keep reheating our coffee. And then there's this microcontroller that I have installed, which detects the distance between my phone or watch and triggers my morning routine when I enter the kitchen. It's a Tony Stark moment for me folks. The morning routine starts off by playing the news on the refrigerator and then transitions into playing music on the IKEA and Sonos frame speaker. What's more, if my wife arrives first, it automatically switches to playing her playlist. It's the little things like these that truly make my day. Moving to the living room, first up, Let's talk about the smart blinds. I have installed IKEA smart blinds on all 17 windows in my house and they work like a charm. I can control them with the remote, the phone app or even through my home assistant app. The remote comes with a magnetic mount that you can easily put on the wall next to the blinds and you can configure each remote to control one blind or even a group of blinds. They are fully automated and adjust based on the sun's events. So. They will go down at night to add security and in the morning they will go up to give us a beautiful sun view from the bedroom. Moving on to the centerpiece of my living room is the 65 inch Samsung Smart TV connected to the Google TV. I personally prefer the Google TV interface as it has better app integration and a more user friendly interface than the Samsung UI. With Google TV, I can add any movie to my watch list on my phone or computer and it shows up automatically on my TV. And the best part is that I can easily check the TV status in my home assistant app and even run automations based on that. But what's really cool is that I have set up an automation where if anyone turns on TV, Alexa on my refrigerator will ask who is watching the TV and then start a 30 minute timer to track how much screen time each person has. This way, we can limit our kids screen time to one hour every day. Who is watching the TV? Aryan. Okay. And lastly, in the living room, it is equipped with Sonos 5.1 sound system, which includes a sound bar, rare speakers, and a sub. The sound quality is pretty good for a living room, but just wait until I show you my media room with the Atmos speaker setup. This is behind the media cabinet, so please excuse the messy wires. I'm still working on organizing them. But for now, let me show you the smart devices that I have in here. I have recently installed Casa Smart Plugs 
with energy monitoring to keep track of how much energy these devices consume. This helps me make informed decisions about energy consumption that helps me cut down on unnecessary expenses. I have also placed a ring speaker in this room. It allows me to hear when the door is open, which is especially helpful with the kids around. Now I can monitor when they come and go, which gives me a peace of mind. Plus, with the Ring app, I can even see who is at the door from my phone or smart display, so I never miss a visitor. As you step out of the living room, you will see the Nest A lock installed on the backyard door, which automatically locks itself after 5 minutes of the opening. This adds an extra layer of security to our home. Moving on, we have some beautiful string lights in the backyard which can be controlled through Zoo switch connected to his Casa Smart Plug. This allows us to turn the lights on or off remotely and even schedule them to turn on at a certain time. The other switch that you see here controls the patio lights but we have programmed it so that a double tap on the bottom of the switch toggles the floor lamp in the living room. Speaking of the living room, did you know that all the lights in the house turn off at 11 pm during the night? Thanks to our smart home setup, we can easily automate the process and save energy. And under the couch, we have our trusty Roborock vacuum cleaner, which cleans the kitchen every day at two in the afternoon and again at one in the night to clean the entire first floor, except the master bed and bath. Speaking of master bedroom, let me show you one of the best inventions that I love. This is a smart crib called Cradlewise. The smart crib that mimics how we rock our baby to sleep. With the built-in camera and bassinet mode, it's perfect for newborns that can be used for up to two years or until the baby is 33 pounds. I'm so excited about it that I'm planning on making an entire video dedicated to it. So keep an eye out for that. I have also included links to all the products that I mentioned in the video in the description below. And for the bedroom itself, we have the same IKEA smart blinds that we covered earlier as well as smart lights that are connected to switches. Our wall-mounted TV is not a smart TV, but I have connected it to Google TV to give it smart capabilities. And since we have one-year-old baby, I have installed an air purifier that runs all night. It's connected to a smart plug, so it turns on automatically every night. As we make our way to the master bath, I wanted to show you some of the nifty features that I have set up in here. Firstly, we have the trusty smart switches again. These switches are programmed to turn off automatically after 20 minutes of being turned on. This feature is not only energy efficient, but also incredibly convenient. Lights in all walk-in closets, pantries, baths, and toilets are also set to turn off after 20 minutes of being turned on. Additionally, every room has a kill switch that allows you to turn everything off in that particular room with just one tap. Now. Let me show you the cool shower automation that I have set up here. As you can see, there is a NFC tag that blends in perfectly with the white tile. When I place my phone on this tag, it triggers a shower automation that I use every day. This automation plays my favorite songs from Spotify and also opens up a clock so that I can keep track of time in the shower. It's a small but handy feature that adds a touch of luxury to my daily routine. This master bath is connected to master closet and then it's connected to utility room. So I have these dumb washer and dryer, but I'm always looking for ways to make things smarter around the house. Right now, I'm looking into attaching a vibration sensor to the washer and dryer to notify me when they are done. But for now, I have used these use switches to create some basic automation. When I double tap the first switch down, it starts a 40 minute washer timer. Then the next switch starts the dryer timer. And when the timer ends, Alexa on the refrigerator announces it's time to switch the laundry. Now, I know the video is getting pretty long, so I'm going to have to break it down into two parts. In the second part, I'll be showing you my media room, my wife's office, my office slash studio slash network room and the garage. Speaking of the garage, it has some really cool automations that I can't wait to share with you. There are loads of automations in other rooms as well, but the garage and my office are some of my favorites. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to make in-depth video on anything you have seen in this video. And be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned because I have got big plans for lots more content coming your way. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned.